and they have the lowest birth rate in the world. I mean, the, the family unit is not very big. One point something per family. But yet, 60% of the timeless youth consider suicide. There was a study done with 4,475 students, aged 15, 15 to 22. Okay. 60% of them has one point in their life want to consider suicide. And then 23% of them are still considering at the point where they do the study. The, the study. And 34% had no idea what to do in life. One of the tigers of Asia yeah, is a developed country, if I may say. Right? In terms of material growth, in terms of physical growth, but 34% of their youth, no idea, you know what to do in life. Yes, the youth of today, they need direction. And Taiwan is not alone. A few years ago, I also read there was this study in Singapore. People from 9 years old to 12 years old. One in three of them found that life is not worth living because of the fear of the academic failure. Stress is not just for me, adults, but the young people, the young people. So stressful. So when we talk about leaving a legacy, leaving a heritage, do things that uplift us, what do you leave behind? for our children and our younger generation. Is it material wealth? Big fat accounts? Big pensions? Yeah. I would suggest that we give our children a spiritual heritage. We should be like Peter and John. Silver and gold have I none, but such I have I a gift to you. But of course, in that context, uh, he healed a leper, right? The bow of axe. But in this case, okay, the reckless healing has gone. Okay? And the New Testament is completed. But can we give a spiritual heritage to our children? Right? By sharing with them the Great Commission. Teaching and teaching and teaching. So that they will not depart from it. Yes. The, world, the, 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 how, the, the field is plenty, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers free. So we need to really consider not just our immediate family, our children. How about other members' children? Okay? We are one big family, right? How about the children, the, the, the youth of this community? How about the, the, the people of the youth of Malaysia? Okay. What about the youth of Taiwan? What about the youth of Singapore? What about the youth of Hong Kong and, and other, other places? Right? But it begins with us. Right? It begins with us. Right? Before we can give something, we, we, we must have. Right? We, we, we must right? uh, do it right. That's the reason why in X242, okay, we need to consider our life together. Because the first century Christians, they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayer. We, we emphasize a lot of the, the apostles' doctrines about the breaking of the bread, of taking the Lord's Supper, of prayers. Of course, very important, right? That's doing the view of God. But sometimes we have neglected the fellowship that we have in Christ Jesus. Even a, a small thing like second Sunday of the evening when we gather for dinner fellowship, we, we will struggle to get attendance. Right. Even to the point we don't have to cook, just come and eat. We want a presence. Also is struggle. But X242, and they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Because it's one big happy family. 
All other things can wait. The TV programs can wait. Giant Jesco sales can wait. Tuition can be postponed. Hey, we pay the tuition teacher. Who pays who? We pay the tuition teacher. Tell the tuition teacher, this time I have my, my children are not available. Can you reschedule it? You said you cannot. Then, what? Change the tuition teacher? Who's <laughs> that? Hey, who's paying money? Who's the boss? Right. Yeah, so, this is something stand firstly. You know, you've got time, you've got life, you've got time. Not a priority. What do you mean by step first? Right? Something to ponder as we reflect more, as we do more that things that uplift us, outlast us. Right? Yes. Consider how we relate one another as we examine together for worship. Right. Uh, try not to be late. I'm not saying you are late, I'm, I'm saying I also sometimes be late, right? Uh, try not to be late. But those who are early, okay, take it as an opportunity to exercise patience, tolerance, consideration, love for one another, wait for one another. Okay? So both parties also learn, alright, the Christian virtues. Right? We need, we need to wait for one another. Okay? How do we interact with each other? When we are out of the exam days, you know, we only meet on Sunday morning, probably the half day on Sunday morning. What about the rest of the six days? Do we interact with one another? As we reflect more, as we think we want to do more for the next year, 2012, maybe, okay, you need to key in members' handphone number. From time to time, I have one brother or sister who ask me, uh, oh, what is the telephone number of the other brother and sister? I think it's very basic. You should have it all key in. <coughs> right? If not, uh, get a directory from uh, chief directory from uh, our secretary. Right? <coughs> all our all our telephone numbers should be in your handphone. I, I don't work in telecoms. <coughs> yes, we need to relate to one another. Right. Learn the names of every name members. You know, uh, Brother Henry's wife. Uh, what's her name? Take notice of the cares and the joys of fellow Christians. Right? Okay. What's our concern last week? What is our concern next week? Do we know? Okay. What are our joys this, this week, last week? Do we know? Or do we really uh, care? No? Right? Pray for those who have special needs. Okay? Uh, maybe we go around and uh, check one another. Uh, is there any special needs that, uh, that I can do or the church can do? Uh, any prayer requests? Right? Who do we expect to ask this question? The barber? The butcher? The one who repair your car? No, it's really, you have to concern for one another. Alright? Okay? Some allow ourselves to be approachable. Are you approachable? Right. Okay? Are you transparent? Right. Okay, so these are some of the points that we uh, need to consider as we want to do more. 